up, Boss Dons? It's your favorite Don. The Don of all Dons, Curtis Dondino, back with another unboxing. So, of course, today this unboxing is dope for me because it's a pair of Nikes. And usually on this channel, we kind of focus on like overrated, overhyped designer tennis shoes that like hurt your feet, are uncomfortable, are expensive. And today we have a pair of Nikes. And I like unboxing shoes that I like, like I genuinely like, but aren't really expensive because it allows like me to speak to a younger me you know me when i was in high school and i was like saving up money that my mother gave me to buy food for shoes because oh that's what i wanted i mean i could eat anything but shoes i can wear any shoes so <laughs> yeah so i just like speaking to a younger me so whatever the case is so we got some nike air terra humara 18s <laughs> so these are men's eight i got these off of essence.com as well i know you're thinking like yo so all these videos are Mind your business. So I got these on sale uh, for I believe seventy dollars, but they retail for one thirty. So I'm sure if you do some fishing, you may be able to find them as well. So we just basically have a Nike hinge box, um, and we just got the shoes. Now I really like these shoes. When I seen them, I'm like, yo, they just scream '90s. Like everything about them just screams '90s. I'm not really the hugest fan of like low cut shoes, but these just were so dope to me. Then they got like that favorite thought neon color. And this is a very neon green, like my set. I mean, honestly, these two are like the damn near same exact color, like, but they both are showing up a little minty eye in the screen here. But um, I just want to go through a lot of the details of the shoe. Ooh, we got some glue. Ooh. And I hope. And I hope we got some glue. Like right there, up in there. Um, but other than that, I just want to go through some details. So first we got like some air bubbles here with a Nike Air impression and the styrofoam heel. Then we got like a suede that, oh my God, this is the worst suede ever. This is that suede that like they sell on fake shoes. <laughs> um, then we got, it looks like some 3M or like some type of breathable material here. Then we got like some nylon in the back there. And then like this feels like a fake leather right there with the Nike. Then like a green leatherette Nike check. Um, and then in the back, that same material from there. And here we got like some eyes almost. And then we have the eyelets where the strings are. Then we have like a really small toe. I really hate small toes too, but that's what just screams from 90s about them. Like these two, like everything about this design just says raw 90s, you know? And then on the bottom, we got like some black and red detailing. It's funny because the red on the sole looked like it was colored in with the marker. I look like somebody took a mark and just was like, that should be red. Why are they stealing my job? I'm the person who comes and writes so much shit. <laughs> if you follow my brand, uh, the Dino brand, you know I have like a hoodie, a t-shirt, and some stuff that actually has some handwriting on it. So you should, if you haven't seen that, you should go check it out. Um, I call that collection the band in the collection. Otherwise, I sell a lot of athletic wear. So this is a short set. I don't have the shorts on now, because it's like, 2.18 in the morning. Um, I was listening to That Far By Black, which is a great song, by the way, especially if you need to stay focused and get your mind off of other motherfuckers. Um, so beyond all of that, I feel like it's kind of dark, but hopefully it's bright enough. Um, so I'll definitely try to shoot one. We'll do a separate on foot, not a separate video, but like a separate, you know, on foot shot. But in the meantime, I'm just going to try it on for like that initial impression because you don't really get to do that on an on foot. So we got some paper in here. Even this paper reminds me when I was younger when it's like the recycled looking paper because it has like the colorful specks in it. I don't think you guys would be able to really pick that up or see that, but this paper is like that. It's color spec. So it almost looks like it's like from back in the day for some reason. So I'm just unlacing the shoe now. I'm definitely gonna wear them probably more like a looser lace, like you know how I usually do. If you watch any of my lace videos, it's pretty much all the same. Um, so it has like a really fat tongue, which is also very 90s, like fat tongues and stuff like that. See, don't judge my pants. Okay, so these are US 8. Oh, and they fit good. These feel like they're going to be quite comfortable. Not the most comfortable. Shoes like this, I never could really wear with jeans. I have to wear with shorts. So I'm really, I'll really, i definitely be wearing these before the summer's out. Um, and I'm just going to pull my pants leg up. So I can show you guys what they look like on foot. I just initially... Don't judge my socks either, but I mean, you know, it's definitely a small looking shoe. It just gives off a real 90s vibe, but it's very loud because this is, this blue is electric with that neon green, like the subtle hints of red. It's a, I definitely think it's a fun 
inexpensive summer shoe that you probably won't get like a lot of wears out of which is a good thing because this is the type of shoe that you really want to put up for years to come this is the type of shoe that you want to be able to show your kids you know like in 10 years or 20 years or something and just be like yo look at this shoe that i had and i feel like this is the kind of shoe that will go like it'll disappear like it probably was already out in the 90s and then it'll disappear and it'll come back only thing i can say like the the craftsmanship on the shoe is ass like all of the glue around the toe box right there is just it's just horrible um looks like i did it with some e um 6000 glue which isn't a good thing like you want it to look like someone at nike did it in the factory you know, like the manufacturing problems that I have for my stuff shouldn't be the same problem that Nike has for their stuff. And that's why I'm glad I purchased these on sale because at the end of the day, like no matter whether I'm paying a thousand dollars for a shoe or a hundred dollars for a shoe, I really want it to be quality. I do give passes for smaller brands because like they don't have the resources that a lot of larger brands have. But when you are Nike, <laughs> you know, when you're one of the biggest freaking brands in the world and have one of the most recognizable logos you don't get those passes but um yeah the shoe doesn't really have a lot of flex in it or anything like that but i mean overall it looks like a, a decent shoe um let me see the sole is pretty thin in the inside um i mean that's nothing surprising it's definitely like to me a shoe that they probably revisited you know i think nowadays with um with shoes and clothes and stuff we've gotten not even clothes more so shoes i feel like clothes we probably went less in quality but in shoes we've just ramped up so much quality that we now expect the quality you know what i mean so hopefully um hopefully i just got like a bad pair let me check out the other shoe though let me actually look at the other shoe really quick to see if it has those same things going on okay the toe box definitely has worse glue the gluing is worse because you damn like without it being focused on this without it just you could just see all of that glue right there um we already know that this part right here gonna be linty as fuck but that i have a solution that that is something you just take a limp brush and clean off you know what i'm saying and i feel like in the future we shouldn't make and these look like they're dented in the end in the back like let me see like, like somebody kicked the back of the shoes already or something see um, in the future, I think all the backs of shoes shouldn't be white, specifically for the reason of driving, so that way we don't drive. But I have a hack for that. If y'all want some like hacks to keep your sneakers clean, like ten hacks, I could definitely do that video. So just let me know below if you want to see that video, and um, uh, just let me know what you guys think of this shoe. Like, if you have any information on it, if you know it's what era it's from, if you know anything about it, because y'all know me, I don't really be knowing shit. I just be knowing what I like, be knowing my card number, I'm putting that in and ordering it. All right, and now we're gonna just jump right into the on foot. Other than that, uh, other than that, 
be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I mean, it almost should be like a habit if you watch on YouTube. I know sometimes it's easy just to watch. Sometimes we watch from our phone and we are logged in. Sometimes we watch from our computers nowadays. I mean, TVs nowadays. But if you aren't on that platform and you're on your phone or on your computer or on your laptop, please drop a comment down below, boss dons. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, boys, dons. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope it wasn't too long. Hope I didn't hold y'all for too long. Hope I didn't ruin too much of y'all day. If you haven't already, please let me know what you think of the shoes below, or let me know what you would like to see from me beyond unboxings. Just give me some ideas. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, stay untouchable per usual, which means stay untouched by criticism, fuck shit, bullshit, dumb shit, all shit. <laughs> Godspeed.